past week, last Sunday, I went to the hospital. Uh, 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 and I went to pray for sick people. And there was this, this particular sister, a wife to one of our brothers. When I was out of the country about two weeks, uh, two, two months ago, they called me and said this person has been that the cancer has saturated all over the body. I don't know what level, whatever level the normal but call the them cancer is, they the cancer I said, okay, now is she able to hear? Say, say, put the phone on speaker, put it in her ear. You could hardly hear her voice. And so we prayed. And I said, You cancer cells in her body. I command you to dry up and get out of her body. I say her body is the temple of her body. You know, it was like a joke. So last Sunday when I went to the hospital, I was praying for some other sick people. Then they told me that she was still in the hospital. And then I went there. It was in the evening like this. I said, ah. then the husband said, Pastor, do you know what happened? I said, tell me. He said, after you prayed on the phone that time, they examined her again. They took the test again that all the cancer cells had cleared from her body. I said, Okay, but what are you doing here? If the cancer cells <laughs> what, what, what are you here? She said, no, they did uh, some tests. I don't know whether the day before yesterday or so. But they discovered another thing they have not discovered before. I said, my sister, your body is not a discovery field. Where they will be discovering all kinds of things they didn't I didn't even bother to know the name of what they discovered. Which was keeping her in the hospital again. So I told her, I said, I'm going to pray now. And when I finish praying, start packing your load. You are going from this hospital in Jesus' name. Actually, I could have discharged her after praying. But I learned my lesson. There was a particular young man. He went to a hospital. Eh? The hospital was, I think it was five-story building. So he learned about praying for the sick. He went to the last floor. He prayed for the sick people there. And he discharged them. He asked them to go home. So, sick people got healed. They were going out of the hospital. He got down to the next floor. He he for them again. The people got here, he discharged them. He said, Go home. You cannot stay in the hospital. He went to the third floor. And when the authorities saw that sick people were going out of the hospital, that's how they went to check up what's going on. They told them and said, There is a prayer warrior who is discharging people. That was how they arrested him. And said, You are not. A medical doctor. No, you cannot be discharging people. If they are healed, why don't you be there? Don't you need them to be so they were saying this person must be crazy. But the issue is this: people got healed and he discharged them. He should have told them to wait for the doctor to come and discharge them. That's, that's the procedure. So I told my sister, I said, you are going from this place. Begin to pack your load. So we prayed. When we finished praying, on Monday, the husband called me. I said, Pastor, we are home. Just what like you said. The doctor came and checked my wife and they couldn't find any problem again. So, I want you to discover your problem. What is the sickness? 
Because I'm going to pray and that sickness will go away. And you are going to come and give us testimony. 